Hello and welcome back to learning Kiswahili with Pullman Sen. In the next few lessons, we're going to be learning or actually increasing our vocabulary in Swahili. The best way to do this, I feel, is to get people immersed into the market areas and to start understanding things, uh, names of things that we'll be buying or using. Uh, what I want to point to you is that uh, Swahili is made of, again, many different languages. So wherever we don't have our own Bantu word for it, uh, we'd have an Arabic word for it or Indian word for it or wherever that item came from. For example, there's a flatbread uh, from India. It's called chapati. So in Tanzania, it's been modified a little bit and we still use the same thing. So in the East Coast, we use the word chapati, the Swahili coast. So today we're going to start with uh, the first part of our vocabulary. I have chosen to go with fruits since the uh, majority of the people I know like fruits. So we're going to go there and we're going to keep the vegetables for the last part. Since a lot of people maybe don't like vegetables. I didn't when I was young. Anyway, fruits in Swahili is matunda. Fruits, matunda. Ma in front of tunda is plural. So the Plurus comes first, and then the actual word. So tunda is fruit, a single fruit. Fruits, matunda. Ma. Okay. Apple. One apple is tufaha, from Arabic word. More than one apple is matufaha. Tufaha. Bananas. One banana is ndizi. Multiple bananas still ndizi. We have a fruit that's special in East Africa from a baobab tree. So baobab fruit is called ubuyu. Ubuyu. Plural of it will be mibuyu for the plant itself. But the fruit just keeps staying ubuyu. Chico. The chico fruit. Chico. We don't have our word, so we just use chico. Custard fruit. Staphali, custard fruit, staphali, dates, date fruit from date palm, dates, tende, single date, tende, plural dates, tende. Dorian, fruit from the far east, especially Malaysia. Dorian in Swahili is Doriani, Doriani. Grapefruit. Grapefruit, the big grapefruit, we call danzi. Danzi. And plural of grapefruit, which is grapefruits, is madanzi. Grapes. Zabibu. Single grape. Zabibu. Plural. Zabibu. Uh, guava. Very exotic fruit. Is pera. Guava. Pera. Plural of guava. Guavas is ma pera. Lemon. Limau. Lemon. Limau. Plural of lemons is ma limau. Ma limau. Lime is ndimu. Lime. Ndimu. Limes. Plural still remains ndimu. Swahili. So Ndimu is both plural and singular. Mango, Embe. Mango, Embe. Plural of mango, which is mangoes in Swahili is Ma Embe. Embe, one, plural Ma Embe. Orange is Chungwa. Single orange is Chungwa. Chungwa. Plural oranges is Machungwa. Peanut, I don't know if that's a fruit, a pulse, or what, but peanut is njugu. Predominantly in the island we call it njugu, and uh, in the mainland it's called karanga. Now, this is both plural and singular. So, peanut or peanuts is njugu in Zanzibar, in Zanzibar Islands. In the mainland is karanga. Pear is pear. So the pear fruit is pear. 
and plural of pearful, pears is mapea. Pineapple is nanasi. Pineapple, nanasi. Plural of pineapple, which is pineapples, is mananasi. Mananasi. Here's another exotic fruit. Pomegranate is komamanga. Pomegranate, komamanga. Plural of pomegranate, which is pomegranates, is ma komamanga. Ma komamanga. Uh, another special fruit uh, from the Far East called rambutan or lychee. Rambutan or lychee uh, in Swahili is shoki shoki. Shoki shoki. Tangerine is chenza. Tangerine, chenza. Nectarine also is chenza. And a plural of tangerines, which is tangerines, is ma chenza. Now, tender coconut, which is the coconut from which we actually drink the juice. Um, tender coconut is dafu. Tender coconut, dafu. Plural of tender coconuts is madafu. Watermelon, tikiti. Watermelon, tikiti. With that, we conclude today's lesson. See you later on another lesson of Swahili, vocabulary in Swahili. Tutonana badai.